It's a hard time for God's people. Times are tough for us, God's people. The kingdom of Israel had fought itself and split into two separate countries. Not only did God's people turn away from each other, but they often turned away from God. God's people became weaker and weaker. We don't feel very strong or powerful right now. As God's people grew weak, their enemies would attack them. Without God's strength, they would lose to their enemies. One of these enemies was the kingdom of Aram. Have you heard? The northern kingdom of Israel is very weak right now. It's the perfect time to attack. Oh, wise king, where should we send the army? Right here. <laughs> Even though they were not faithful to God, he still loved and cared for his people. God is everywhere and hears everything. He listened in on the king's plans and would tell the prophet Elisha where a ram would attack. Then Elisha warned the king of Israel and Israel's army was always prepared for a ram's attacks. The Israelites had their defenses prepared. We, we lost. No way! Okay, let me see. Let's attack there. Once again, as the army of Aram approached the secret battle location, God had warned his people and they were prepared. Uh, what? They were prepared. We lost again. How could they be ready for our surprise attack? The king of Aram had an idea. One of his officers must be telling their secrets to the Israelites so they could prepare. One of you is telling our secrets to the Israelites so they can prepare. No, your majesty, we don't like losing. We've heard there's a prophet, a messenger of God in Israel named Elisha. The officers told the king that God himself would tell Elisha his secrets, even the things the king said in his own bedroom. Go attack Elisha. A ram's army surrounded the city of Dothan, where Elisha lived. Elisha's servants saw them early in the morning and told Elisha all about it. There's an army surrounding the town. What can we do? But Elisha told him not to be afraid. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. We have more people with us than they have in their army. Elisha's servant looked very confused. There were so many soldiers surrounding them. How could they have more than the enemy? Um, Elisha, we definitely do not have more with us. Elisha calmly prayed and asked God to open the servant's eyes. The servant looked up and gasped, and that's when something wonderful happened. God made it so the servant could see the mighty angels who were protecting them. Whoa, God's army is all around us. I see horses, angels, and chariots of fire covering the hillside. God's mighty army made a ram's army look small and weak. God is good and he is protecting us. Now let's get to work. Elisha prayed that God would make a ram's soldiers go blind. And God did. The soldiers stood there in dazed confusion. They went back to a ram and shared about what happened. The king of Aram stopped planning attacks on the Israelites. Perhaps he realized what Elisha's servant realized when he saw the angel army. God is powerful. <laughs>